How to use a crystal by Richard Webster. It's divided into two parts. You're looking at part one, some crystal basics. So it's four chapters all together. Part two, 50 ways to use a crystal. So you got one to 50 and it's not divided into chapters. It's just the list one to 50 of how to use a crystal. And part one is a quick, it's pretty quick. The four chapters aren't that long and they're not too, like to me, they're not too heavily information based. You have an introduction to crystals, choosing and looking after them, chakras, and some other information as well. It's fairly informal. So that's part one. And then part two, you are you are looking at, again, 50 different things you could do with the crystals. And I am fairly certain there are more than 50 things that you could do with a crystal. There's like a whole bunch of different types of crystal grids that are like people have made like a few books about. So just by like subdividing like crystal grids or whatever, you got more, you got quite a few more. You got stuff like... A crystal meditation, controlling stress, grounding, gaining clarity. So those are just a few things that are talked about. You have an int like in intro to what will be talked about and then you got the activity and you have like a step by step. You got like one, two, three, four or however many steps are in that activity. Some have two or three different activities shown for whatever meditation or ritual, spell, whatever is being talked about. And like I found that it's not crystal, crystal specific. It's not telling you, oh, you need a tiger's eye or you need onyx, you need clear quartz, you need amethyst, jade, whatever. He uses your crystal for a list of what is needed or if, like, if there is a list of what is needed. Like, if it's a meditation, he'll have, like, hold your crystal, place your crystal or whatever in the instructions. So, I found that it isn't crystal specific. So, whatever the topic it is, because like some people resonate to crystals differently, so a uh, classic is like rose quartz being for love, but some people may not vibe with the ro rose crystal as a love stone, but they might find like gold stone to be a love stone or whatever for them so or there's a few crystals that are connected to love or money or success success or whatever so if you don't have like that one stone you could and you have this one and they're kind of and they are connected to love success or whatever you can use that one so it isn't again stones crystal specific so if you want to have like a physical copy of something that you can like write in or whatever post it because some people would write in their books or some people will post it or add sticky notes or whatever with notes but it is something to look into if you want to have like a physical copy of this list or you can get an ebook version if it's available probably will be of this and you can like highlight it on your 
Kobo or Kindle, whatever platform it's available on. So, yeah. I found the list to be pretty interesting. Some of the topics may be, like, similar, but... Similar, but, like, they may just deal with something different. But if you are a crystal person and want some ideas, how to use a crystal by Richard Webster could help you out. Happy readings.